Shoo! What's going on, folks? Welcome back to another episode of starting the day off. Before we jump into today's video, gotta say a huge shout out to Manscaped for sponsoring today's video. So I think we can all agree, dating during the pandemic, it's been been pretty tough, right, Paul Jess? It's a doozy. Coming from a married man, uh, honestly, I can't relate, but this guy over here, you can. It, it, pandemic dating is no fun, fun for anybody. No. And we already know what's coming up. We've got Valentine's Day, okay, folks? But don't worry, there's optimism with Valentine's Day right around the corner. I want you to be prepared for this holiday by presenting the prettiest dong possible. You heard it right. I'm here hey. to get you the prettiest dong possible. Why, thank you. This is interesting. Okay, that's why our sponsor, Manscaped, has created products that will have your V Day date saying, wow. Great set of balls you have there. Why, thank you. Can't wait for that. Okay, so so what we've got here is the Manscaped Perfect Package 3.0. There's already 2 million men already trusting Manscaped products to make their testes their finest. We've all been there, okay? Doing, mowing the lawn. We've all been there. Oh, I mow the lawn all the time. <laughs> It, it can sometimes be a doozy, okay? Hey. It, you, you know, you, you sometimes you, you nick yourself, you cut yourself. You can stick on the weeds, you know? It's, uh, it jams up. You know, we've all been there. Yeah. This is going to be the solution for all of your guys' problems. If your girl can't think of what to get you this year, tell her to get you the gift that's for you and for her. The best way to get started is with the Manscaped Perfect Package 3.0. It's the ultimate hygiene package for your below-the-waist grooming needs. The Perfect Package 3.0 is led by the Revolutionary Lawnmower. So go ahead and open this guy up right here. Whoa. This is the Revolutionary Lawnmower. Oh, it's already ready to use. She got a little, little headlight on it. Yeah, too. there's Look a little that. there's a little light. You got no, some high beams on. Yes, got the high beams on. Make sure you're you're cutting perfect corners efficiently looking good. It's also waterproof. It's got advanced skin safe technology that features a cutting edge ceramic blade to reduce grooming accents. Nobody likes those. Like I said, it's waterproof, which allows you to groom in the shower and prevent a pube murder scene on the bathroom floor or in the sink. This package also includes their crop preserver, okay? The crop preserver is a ball deodorant. Keep them boys smelling good, folks. It also has the crop reviver, which is a ball toner. Who's that? I might've just gotten blinded by the light. Wow. That really gets after it. <laughs> These products keep our boys from sweating, smelling, and sticking. Their manly scent is attractive and will help set up the mood, if you know what I mean. That's what I'm saying. Manscaped also has crop mops, which are little wipes that you can keep in your wallet to stay fresh at any time. Whenever the mood strikes, you and your boys will be ready. The Perfect Package 3.0 will also come with a pair of Manscaped boxers that'll keep your junk feeling fresh all day. It's time to upgrade to Manscaped's high-performance anti-chafing boxers. Easily the comfiest boxers I've ever had. Get a feel of them bad boys. Dude, it's like... Oh, it's like a blanket. It's, it's like your, a cloud. Goodies. It's like a cloud. This is, this is I great. I like this. And to complete your grooming game all around, they've got the Refine Cologne. That has the same scent as all, the, all these products, so they're going to keep everything smelling good. Overall, folks, this right here is the perfect package for your perfect package and for your perfect package. If you guys want it, it'll be a link down below. You can get 20% off and free shipping by using promo code FLAIR. That's 20% off and free shipping if you use promo code FLAIR at manscaped.com. It is time to make February 13th, International Trim Your Pubes Day with Manscaped. Huge shout out to Manscaped for sponsoring today's video. It is brands like them that I partner up with that let me do what I do every single day. So hopefully you guys thought this was funny, but on a serious note, okay, serious note. This is some good stuff. It's some good stuff, folks. So with that being said, enjoy the rest of today's video. Your balls will thank you. Shoo, what's going on, folks? Welcome back to another episode. Welcome to the Winter Wonderland. We hadn't filmed for a day here. We got like 16 inches of freaking snow. It's piled up like crazy. We had The four-wheeler wouldn't even do it. We had to use the skid loader. We got the skid loader up here. It's not at all what today's video is about, but just give you guys a background. Look, it freaking snow. Look at this. I had to use the skid loader. And uh, so anyways, a lot of snow going on. But as you can tell, maybe you can or can't tell, that sun is headed downwards. That is where the sun sets. Um, so we're starting the day out by the house because we're going to be doing
doing some ice fishing. Uh, we bought, well, we bought something new um, to give to give it a try. I bought an ice shack, um, something I've, I've never personally owned. I grew up fishing in them sometimes. My dad had one. Um, I've hunted with, or fished with buddies that have them, but I've never bought one. I'm always like, nah, nah, nah. I want to be in the elements jigging, except when you want to use something like a light to attract the fish when it gets darker. So the idea is, even though it's sunny right now, the sun will go down and it's, we will probably be fishing in the evening a little bit, but there's so much snow on top of the ice. It basically looks like nighttime to the fish like there's no sunlight penetration whatsoever on the pond so we got these big giant led green lights that supposedly is supposed to track fish um we're gonna put that to the test today but like i said we did get a new ice shack that we've got to try to put together today and that's what she looks like how are you feeling about it i think it's gonna be great nice and warm it is 100 square feet of fishable area everything else they had there i think was like 62 was, was the biggest big, most of them were like 30 40. yeah and this was marked at 500 bucks and i got it for like 370 or something so not sure if it was the wrong bar to big code but I, I i wasn't asking questions if you know what i'm saying so we're gonna try to get this thing set up just to make sure you know there's nothing that we just gotta make sure it works we don't want to get all the way down there and be like it's probably like a little carry case isn't it yeah. so it's probably ready to go but i feel like do you, what do you think should we risk it and put it together here or not put it together here oh it says full insulation too I know that. Did you? No, I didn't know it was insulated. Look at that. I feel like I feel like we should try it just in case. Yeah. Because if it doesn't work or you know if something's messed up, then we, we can try to work on it before we take it down there. I mean, look, it's got backpack straps. I want to real quick. Hang on. Put that on. Let me see you carry that around, schoolgirl. Let's see it. I, like, <laughs> like, like a schoolgirl, like a backpack. You know. We are, don't. Yeah. Be a cool kid. We gotta one strap it. Don't be. A, don't be oh, a loser. Man. You know. I, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, you got it. Here, give it. Give it a two strap. There you got it. Come on. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Zach, you grab that strap. There you go. There you go. That's actually not too bad. Look, look at that guy. Dude, it's giant. Oh, God. Banjo's going to freaking... He's going to start walking. He's just going to go boom and just fall yeah, backwards. I mean, that's cool. It comes with a little carry case. But we're going to unbox it, make sure it works. Then we got to go feed the animals real quick uh, just to make sure that you know, they're, they're all alive and well. And then we're going to run down and get set up, set up shop. This is the first time we've fished the, any of the ponds I have with a shack. And uh, then, like I said, we've got these really, really powerful LED lights that hopefully you can light up and Zach can catch his crappie. You're after big crappie. Yep. So, and we're going to catch and cook it. So whatever we catch, we're cooking but we're hopefully bringing in the big crappie that we want to get out of the backyard pond and instead of releasing them into the cabin pond today we're gonna to eat them for dinner so how's that looking oh, it's ready to go. give it the old buckle okay it is insulated wow why was it so cheap get it there you go pull the skirt down you got it why was it so cheap i don't understand it they rang up dude look at this thing oh wow oh it's basically just like a deer like a hunting blind for deer but insulated but insulated what if we just took this deer hunting there's your life hack right there this thing's massive so she said go ahead give it a give it a pop oh yeah okay all right i'll hold this side yep you go ahead just give it a tug boom oh this is pretty easy okay yeah this is this is going well yep yep give it a tuggy what there you got it okay i'll go here you take this i'm gonna i'll crawl in and do this do the roof here you could have a whole family of seven in this thing this thing's matt come crawl in where's the door right here here you go come give it a beat it comes with like legit windows huh yeah, we're not putting those in, so don't worry about that. Look at this. Look at we got three beef cakes and we got hella room still. This is this is good. This is good investment. Yeah. I mean, absolutely. I think we put a heater in here and we'll be nice and warm. I'll be stripping. So what? Really? Dude, it's this fine. is a beauty. Ideally, you get in here, you shut it off, you should be able to see into the water pretty well. And then it comes with windows, so you could keep. I wouldn't ever do it just because like it's usually not that cold, but if it's really cold, you're gonna want it. Dude, get, like, you could literally live in here. It's tall. This is tall. That's gotta be seven probably you think seven feet someone commented and said that you were five three in a video yeah i'm five four shut up all right well we got her put up ready to go we're gonna put it back down now that we know how it works we'll head down and let's feed the animals Shoo! what up jerry how them nuts doing buddy dale what's going on carol how you doing carol steve what up buddy well we're down to the animals folks time to get these guys fed we were hungry today zach was on grain duty he killed it my guy now we are loaded up fresh look at that freshness Dale, we got two buckets of fresh. Ralph, come over, help yourself, Ralph. Help yourself, big guy. Now you got it. There you go. All right, Banjo, you excited? Yep. You ready? Yep. Here, actually, give us some animal POV. POV. We, ain't, we ain't seen that one yet. All right. Ralph, why are you growling? Come on, over here. This is not good. Yeah. No, Banjo, come on, Banjo, you got it. Oh, yeah, fresh grain, everybody. There you go, llama. No, hey, get out. Get some of that grain there, buddy. You want to do like the good old days? Just like good old times right there, llama. Are you all wet? Oh, you're all wet. Why are you <laughs> wet? Steve. Oh, Steve. <laughs> Steve, 
Come here, Steve. Hey, you're all right. Hey, hey, you could you can eat out of the big bin. Steve, why don't you like me? Hey, you can eat out of the bin, Ralph. You got that long ass neck, you know. Hey, hey. where are you going? All right, over here. Come here, llama. Come on, llama, over here. There you go. Come get it. All right, you. Oh, here, I'll, I'll switch you. Why don't you go be on water duty? Okay. Go get give him some of that. Give him some of that H2O action. I'll keep getting him some scoops. Since it snowed so much, I think their hay is good for. Yeah, they got another two days out of that hay. It's dwindling down just a little bit, but I'm gonna go ahead and give him a few more scoops. Big boy Jerry, you want another scoop, buddy? There you go, big boy. Well, I'm gonna come this way. I'll give you some more. Chungus! Look at Chungus. Oh, he's out. Oh, he went back in. He was out for a second. How's Chungy doing? What up, buddy? Look, see, look at the snow. The snow we came in. But look at his little corner over there. He stayed nice and dry. Good job, Chungus. You want some grain? All right, hang on. Let me... Hey, oh, well, why would you do <laughs> He tried catching it. You hungry, buddy? Are you hungry, big chungus? There you go. Here, I'll give you a little. I'll give you a little extra, extra, in case you're you're a growing. Well, actually, you're a girl, but you're a growing boy. Right, give you an extra scoop since I spilled some. There you go. Well, strongest is taking it. Look how much snow there is. That bin is like two feet tall. I came in and plowed all this. It's crazy. Like, look at this. So much snow. Absolutely incredible. But today. Well, hopefully that sun is coming down pretty quick. I've I've never ice fished at night ever. I don't plan on like today necessarily ice fishing well, well into the dark. The plan is get out, test the lights. Well, test the shack for one. You, uh, you ever lose in life to a lid? Now you guys are like, well, you're spinning it the wrong way. Well, that's how you get it to sit. And then you, yeah. One of the, okay, anyways. So what I'm saying is test the shack for one and then test the lights, catch some, and then I'll get to cooking duty, filet and cook duty, and Banjo and Zach can keep on giving it a dangle. So with that being said, animals are taken care of. They're good to go. Our shack's good. We're gonna load everything into the mule and head down to the pond. You guys stay tuned. Shoo! All right, folks, made down to the pond. We saw so many turkeys. I wish we could have shown you, but we came down that hill there. First off, look how deep. Oh, rip. Man, she was, was she giving it that lean the whole time? Really? <laughs> Dude, look how deep that is. It's sizzling off the muffler. Yeah. yeah. It's, not, it's not on fire. It's not on fire. Don't worry. Look how deep this is, though. Like, this is insane. It's like a foot of just straight up freaking snow. And I hadn't plowed it, so, like, it was, like, pretty difficult to get down here, actually. Look, it's getting dark. You can see the sun going down. Oh, really? So we're going to. You saying that to me? Yeah. Yeah. I'm just letting the folks know. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna head out to the pond. We kind of have a couple of decent uh, good spots that we like uh, to fish, especially like panfish. Like I said, the goal would be big crappie, but honestly, if it comes out of the hole, that's the goal. Is that the way to say that? Anyway, if we catch it and it's an edible sized fish, being not a little bluegill, we're gonna eat it. And we, so we've got, I mean, a whole mule's worth of stuff. We got cookers, we got lights. Under, we do have underwater cameras, even though we probably don't use it. We got the old scanner. We've got the driller. The I think it's called an auger. So the technical term of that is fishing rods, wax. I mean, the works, boys. We're ready to put the hammer down. Give it that a tuggy. What? How's that ice? Is there really that much snow? On? Oh, what? Rip. Now you got it. All right, we got the auger. I didn't check the battery on this. So we're gonna hope for the best. Or Gucci Hoochie. There we go. Woo. Woo. Oh my goodness. Woo. Ah. How's the camera feel, Zach? Woo. Yes. <laughs> Woo. So we need to clear a 10 by 10. Good enough. All right, let's get this sucker built. Shoo! Mm -hmm. <laughs> he ran into the hut. Really? All right. See, this is why I don't have a hut. Yeah, it's a lot of work. It's too much. It's way too heavy. It's so. Ow. Really? What the? What? The? Cause they're not supposed to be like that, right? No, see how that's bent? I mean, it's nice, but see, like, oh, fish aren't biting. Let's move. Like, how? You know what I mean? You gotta like pack it all up. It's kind of, kind of sucks. It's not mobile. The mobile ones have the sled flip over. We can only fit two beef cakes. We gotta have this thing big enough to throw a party. All right, let's get to digging some holes out of here. All right, here's our battery. Freaking giant car battery. Look at this mega. Mega dongle right there. We got the cooktop, fishy finder. All right, dust the old battery off here. I ordered this straight from the Zon. You ever seen a light that big? Uh oh. It's big, that's a big chungus. Supposedly this attracts fish. Is it, see, look how like, it's so dark down there. I think we need to brighten the fish's day a little bit. Rip, our fish finder just froze. Hey, that's why you, you don't need a fish finder. You got this, right? This is a backup. I don't know why the thing, it's like it just glitches or something. So take, unwind this guy. It's starting to get, it's close to getting dark. But like I said, you look down that hole and it's straight black darkness down there. There's so much snow that the fish think it's dark 24 hours a day. So you take this, take your positive and negative. Oh, good grief. That's sick. How's this? 
Just good and green. You like that. So what happens when you drop it down here? Oh god. Look at that. Dude, it's completely glowing right yeah. here. This is crazy. Look at that. You think it's gonna work? Dude, people say that the light does it. I mean, our fish finder ain't. You can't, it's, it's, it's dark down there. You can't uh, see nothing. It's, it was moving. Yeah, it, it glitches. Like, oh, it, it like moves. I could glitch. probably disconnect the terminals. Let me try doing that. All right, well, we're gonna get set up now that we got the light going and see what happens. All right, folks, well, the old scanner didn't really, it, I don't know what it said, transducer not connected now. So we're going straight light. That light is hopefully gonna attract the fish. You can see what it looks like down there. It's just, it, it's getting it's getting dark. Within 30 minutes, it'll be pr 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 pitch black out here. I think it's just tough. Zach and I are on fish duty first. As soon as we get a couple and I can start filleting and stuff, we'll pass the torch off to Banjo and get to cook and have a little cookout on the ice. But I'm curious, we kind of know what the fishing's like been out here. It's been pretty good. But we haven't caught we for the last few trips we haven't caught any biggins. So like if we catch some biggins tonight, I would I would want to credit this light, but it may not be worth much. No matter what, it looks cool. Just turning the entire floor this color, I feel like it's kinda kinda neat. So with that being said, let's see if we can catch some fish. You throwing a waxy? Yep. That's not a, plastic? That's no. a fish. You're kind of a hard ass. You always throw the plastic, but he always catches biggins though. Oh. He always beats us. He's always like, I'm throwing plastic, I'm not catching. and then he just brings in a giant. <laughs> oh, that really? Yeah. That light's dialed, huh? Yeah. Shut up! Shut up. Zach is a beast. I didn't even oh, get in yeah. yet. Oh, rip. Hey, that would have worked good for the stocking video. The one day we want to catch biggins, we only catch the small ones. When we want to catch the small ones, we caught the biggins. Light works. The light work. I would say so far, it's working. If I could ever get this figured out, that would be sweet. Oh, hey, Rick. How you doing? Bombs away, boys. We'll see how much I can see with that light. See, with this light, this the glow jig, and that's what it is. It's actually a glow jig. Will actually probably glow more than it would if it if the light wasn't. I'm feeling pretty good about my decision with the what lure. Well, it's only not like this. It's not heavy. I like a heavy, heavy tungsten because then you know right when it gets to. The the bottom. Now, this sucks without a scanner. Yeah. I'm fishing blind. Blinded by the light. Okay, that's on the bottom. Oh, oh, Rick! There's a fish. You talk about that, son! Hey! Oh, Big Jim! What are you doing? He, he hit it on the fall. That's a squeak. I didn't even know we had bass that small in here. How'd that light treat you? So, so far, I think the light... We should have used the light to catch the... Oh, God. We're doubled, son! Babies. No! No! Rip! So, we, maybe we should have used the light when we were trying to catch the babies for the... Mm. Uh-oh. We might have done goof, son. Brings in the plankton or something. Yeah, you think that is? Like I they mean, can that's see. That's what people say. Really? Yeah. But where there where there's small fish, there's also big fish. Mm -hmm. I do have some big little dangling lures that we can try here that would mainly catch bass and crappie. Which I mean, I'll eat a bass, I guess. If I catch one more little guy, one short, I'm gonna switch, and I'll go to a big jig with a minnow head. Zach brought the minners. We're on, boys. Eater. Uh oh. Eater. Uh oh. Bruh! That's probably a little too small, huh? Alright. You do big things for your country right there. Oh. You know, little tap. Really? Really? It's a dead stick kind of night, boys. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. No, sir. This might bring in the dink, son. This this light might not be a good thing. What do you think the strat is, Zach? You have to bring out the Vex? Go ahead and try it. Go ahead, give it a try. Zach did bring his Vex, but I'm like, hey, let's just see what the light does. Will the light work? So far, it, it light's been kind of tough. I, I was just say, put the Vex over on that mm. side, on your side. I've got the light, you've got the Vex. Right. We'll, see, we'll see who can catch one, one fish. A little 1v1. All right, I'm dropping back down. We got a fresh waxy. Zach's got the Vex going, so he thinks that's the strat. So I got the light, he's got the Vex. We're going to see which one does better here. So far, the dead stick actually isn't a bad strategy. There's some... You see some fish? fish. Ooh, maybe there's... You think they're coming up to the light? Mm, We're fishing on the bottom. Yeah. Just smoke it. No. No. Did he bite? Yep. No. Oh, he's back. Dude. You... Got him. Dude! Shut up. That's a big one, too. Yeah. Bro. I'll eat that. Yeah. Wait, so do you think that you think they're coming directly to the light and we're just fishing way yeah, below him? I mean, he was up probably five, six feet. He was five feet off the bottom. Mm -hmm. This, maybe the light's working. You just got to like, you know, not be stupid about it and be like, why would the fish be on the bottom if the light's not at the bottom, right? right? Yeah, they're coming So up. here's what I'm going to do. Look okay, at there's no one right here. Dude, they're suspended right at the light. They're right at the light. Oh. Oh, rip. Oh, what a beast. Look at that save. So do you think I should just drop this sucker down? Let's test the theory. We're going to test it. Because then, Zach, if all the fish start showing up on the bottom, right. right, then you know. So now the question is, will Zach start seeing fish? Is that There's, a fish? Yeah, it's right on me. On the bottom. But what, dude, what, what is going on? The little guy. Really? Oh, no. I mean... Ollie, that might actually make sense now. So the fish were... Let me see if I can see my bait. Let me put the bait right next to... Oh, it is. Maybe it is that shallow you here. You see your bait? No, but no, I can see it right. 
almost right there. I'm waiting to see a fish like cruise over it or something to see the silhouette. I wish my pond was more clear. That would be, it'd be nice if it was a little bit more clear. Well, we got, we got, you, you got, oh, you still got that guy? Yeah. So we could throw that little guy back. We don't probably need this one. Yeah, we don't need little gem. We got two big gems now, so. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, see how you can see the silhouette? Oh, that's so cool. Yeah. Now the question is, will you, will Zach start seeing fish closer to the bottom? It's right on the bottom. It's, it's as low as it'll go, right. and I can see it. It's got to be close to the bottom, within a, within a couple feet, I would definitely say. I'm jigging with a minnow and a, and a little spoonie. Zach's jigging about on the bottom. I got my dead stick moved. It's getting so dark, I can't freaking see. Like, I'm looking at this rod going, we got two, we got two gills, though. One more. Banjo's taking over, and we got to get to cooking. You need a crappie. I know. I want a big... So yeah, I, got... I thought the suspended ones would be a crappie. I know, right? I thought this this spoon with the minnow would get get the big end. That's, that's the goal. All right, we moved the light. Will that work? I don't know. Yeah, I think the lights, I could see it was laying on the bottom. I think we're a little too shallow. I think you're about, you're about in the juice, mm -hmm. I think. Let's see. I want you to catch one of them walleyes we put in here. I, know I would that. freak out if we caught one of them walleyes. What? Right there. Hey. I heard it fall. It stole my reel handle. You warm? Yeah, super warm. <laughs> Van's over there getting frostbite. How's it going, folks? Time to start cooking here. You see that? Oh, yeah, you can. It's freaking freezing. We underestimated what happens when the sun goes down. It gets really freaking cold. So anyways, I'm going to get these bluegills here. These guys right here, and we're going to go ahead and... Blinded by the light. Well, folks, I got one of them clean. It's so cold that they're freezing to the bucket. Yeah, not my proudest. I mean, actually, my cleaning job, I didn't think I did that bad. <laughs> but... The bluegills were not very big. So we're gonna get this cooktop. We're gonna see if we can get this thing fired up here. So what this is, unlike some previous items that I've used, this actually does what it's supposed to, which is cook. Look at that. Dude, this thing's a beast. Oh, this is what I need, dude. This is my personal hand warmer. This is neat, I like this. All right, I gotta we'll clean this other fish here. So we've got two bluegills so far. Zach's fishing, Banjo's filming. This is turned into not, it started good, right? We, we were having fun. It's now it's turned into you were having fun today? I'm not sure if I'm gonna do this again. It's cold, dude. Like, not when it's this cold. We, heaters are cool. We should've brought heaters. We have so many heaters. I just was like, nah, 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 we got it, we got it. All right, well, I'm gonna go ahead and clean this other fish and show you guys how we're gonna cook them up. Well, hey, how's it going? We got a fish filleted here. All right. Man, this oil's really popping. So, what we're gonna be cooking them with is we got flour, and then, of course, y'all already know the drill. We got ducks, buffalo seasoning. If you guys want this, it'll be linked down below. Check it out. Ooh, brand new bottle. Who dis? Look at this. Banjo style. What do you think about that? More. You got about a. <laughs> pretty That's good. good. You got a pretty. All right, you say more. So you got a pretty good ratio going there. Never never a bad thing to have a little, a little bit of heat. You like this fog effect going on? This is nice. Woo! Smells good. All right, we're gonna go straight from the water into that. No egg, no egg wash needed on, on this deal. Man, because I'm too lazy. Let's go ahead and mix it up like this. This is as fresh as it gets, though. I mean, literally, these, these suckers were flip-flopping 60 seconds ago. So we're gonna take this, open it up, dust them off straight into the grease. Hot diggity dog, look at that. Now we're talking. Now we're talking fresh gills for dinner. I mean, if we did a 24 hour challenge, we wouldn't die of starvation. We would probably die of the cold. It is freezing out here. Oh God, yeah. All right, look at that. You thought we'd be smart to bring like lights in here. One of these days we'll get that smart. So anyways, let's get these guys fried up and see how they taste. Shoot, that's what they look like, boys. We got nice golden crispy. We also threw that buffalo seasoning on top, salt bait it. I'm gonna give it a bite. Ooh, I feel hot. I've... Ooh. Woo ah. Woo. That's pretty good. Dude, the seasoning on top is the way to go. <coughs> a little bit of water. That's about as fresh as it gets. Zach, are you uh making friends with that crappie down there? Or yeah. How's that going? Zach's been dangling on one crappie for about the last hour and a half. Dude, that's actually pretty good. You should try it. Give that guy hell. I think I think you're going to be kind of impressed. Mm. For just a quick little chef session. Evening chef's... Chef... Evening chef session. Like I'm that. going back in. Ooh, he's he's getting Ooh. he's getting the old double nug. Thanks, Zach. Zach, yeah. Zach's got you. We got a piece for you, Zach. Still. Always. Because Zach, Zach's always here for. Uh, you caught the two big ones, right? I caught the dinkers. Oh, well, he's he's giving it hell now. That was a perfect ratio. Yeah, you like that? Seasoning. I think it was. That's better than last time. Yeah, way better than last time. That's good. And just for make for for making it, just I think it's putting the seasoning on top. Either that or you gotta like you gotta empty like half a bottle. That's fine. 
which is also fine if you want to do that, but save a little bit, mix half of it in there. And then when it comes out, when it's still wet, fresh oil on it, just throw some on top. It'll give it that nice punch, that Buffalo flavor. I will say, I'm not sure about it, Zach. What, what would you rate the light? Two. Red, what about you? Negative two. I didn't catch a fish. Though. It was good right away. So do you blame the light or do you blame the fact, but like people use this at night though. I think for the crop. We, we do better without the light. Yeah. We, we, we've, this is our worst ice fishing session. Now we don't have anything to compare it to because we haven't ice fished for like two weeks. So maybe, maybe we got to come back out like tomorrow without the light, but just like broad daylight and see if it's any good and kind of compare it. I was optimistic because that, the one that I bought was like, that might've been like 120 bucks. It was like the most expensive sweet one. I was like, we gotta get something super powerful that'll work really well. And we got this hut. We, we invested a lot of money into this video and didn't get a whole lot out of it, except for just a few golden crispies, but like, it wasn't too bad. I like the hut. You like, you like the hut? Yeah, we just, we, we messed up. I, I underestimated the power of the sun and the fact that it kept kept us warm. Cause when we came down here, well, it wasn't even warm when we came down here. It was like 20. Three. I was like, I will be all right. A little bit chilly, but that's where we're gonna end today's video. The light. Let me know what you guys think. You guys have used the light in the past. Let me know. Do you think it's worth it? Do you not think it's worth it? Do you think I just suck at using it? Very well could be the case. With that being said, we're gonna pack up and go get warm, hopefully, and hopefully we don't fall through the ice. If we do, well, I'll let you guys know. Thank you guys so much for watching and peace.